Hello again guys, this is Aztec, and you know what mod this is, it's the Mo Creatures mod, yep, Dr. Zark updated it, and I'm showing you how to use it. So I'm going to make this mod back, I will upload it to Mediafire, just download it, got all the files you need, need nothing else apart from this, and obviously a copy of Minecraft. So let's get the installation away. This, this method will work for Windows, it's just a matter of you need to use WinRAR or 7-zip, I'm not... I'm not sure about Windows, but for this you just use Archive Utility to open up the jar. And I'm not sure what I did there. Go to Finder, Library, Application Support, Minecraft. Then you go to your bin. Then there's a Minecraft jar which holds all the goodies which make Minecraft. And you open it with Archive Utility. Or if you don't have that, you compress it. And don't get your zip. And you'll get a folder like that which will be exactly the same as if you open it with archive utility. Then you delete the file you don't need. Just need a folder like that. Then you need to rename it to minecraft.jar. Then click add. And it should look like that. With all the normal files in. So then you want to go and open up the mod pack. You'll find the base mods. Basically the base mods are the mods you need to install to get a mo creatures to run. And I'll just go over this mod pack, there is the mod here itself, with all the files in for the mod creatures. Got the base mods, with the audio mod, GUI and mod loader. Then you've got the optional mods, which is single player commands and too many items, which I'll be using to show you the fishes, because they are quite rare and it's hard to find them without mods. So yeah, let's get underway. Start off by opening mod loader. You go on that, as you know. You can highlight it all, or for a quicker way, you hold command, which is the button next to the spacebar, command A, which will highlight all of them, and command C to copy them, or if you don't know how you copy them, you just go copy there. Then you go over to the jar, then you paste them, apply to all, and replace them. That's the mod loaded one. Go to the audio mod, copy the exe, copy the exe class, sorry. Paste that into the jar, replace it. Copy the IBXM and paste that into the jar. Then you open up pause code, open up sound, codex, copy the codex IBXM. Then when you're in the Microsoft jar folder there, you type in Paul in the search bar. Then I say search this Mac Microsoft jar. Open up pause code, open up sound, open up codex, and then you just paste it in there like that. You should have three files. Then go all the way back out into your jar. Then you go back to the base mods and you go under the GUI. Copy all of this. So make sure you've got all of it because one file missing and it will crash. Trust me, it's happened to me before. Then you paste that into the jar. And then we'll just run Minecraft just to ensure it works. There it is. And I missed time password. See, this is a new jar, so it won't recognise my password. And we log in, and everything's done. So then you go back into your jar. And now we install the Mercury Judge itself. Not much has changed, it's the old versions. Dr. Zark has added fishes and they will be the main changes. There is a few bug fixes and I believe the horses spin uncontrollably when you mount them. I've experienced that but I don't know, he could he might be able to patch it, it might just it might just be an error with the code and I'm not quite sure, but yeah. Then once you're in the Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures folder, go to Minecraft, inject to Minecraft jar, copy all these files, all sixty-eight of them, and paste them into the jar. Like so. Open up the mod folder, highlight all those, copy them, and then type in mod here, then go on Minecraft jar. There should be a mod folder there. And you just paste the items in. And to ensure it's work, you just scroll down. And if you see the bar here get smaller, you know there's more files in. Yeah. Then before you leave the Minecraft jar, type in meter there. Go to Minecraft jar and delete the meter in folder because that just causes black screens. Don't know why it's there. Isn't doesn't seem necessary because it works with or without it. So I don't know. 
if somebody, if somebody can put in the comments why the major inf actually stops mods from working, that'd be nice. Because I just don't understand why it doesn't, it just seems pointless. Then, once you've installed the class files into the jar, go to your Minecraft there, go to your resources folder, then there should be a mod, fo mod folder if you install the audio more correctly. Go into sound, then once you're in the Doctor's Arcs folder, go to resources, mod, sound, then you just copy all these. <coughs> Sorry about that. Copy 112 items, that's quite a lot. And paste them into the sound folder there. And you're pretty much done installing Mo Creatures. Tune in for the next part of the video where I'll be showing you some gameplay. Oh. Oh. Hello guys, welcome to the second part of my video. In this part I'll be showing you the creatures themselves. If you're a new person, I'll be showing you most of the creatures, or at least the ones I can find. If you're a more experienced person who've used this mod before, you might be interested in the fish section where I show you all the new fish. I'll just give you a brief description of it. Basically it has new creatures, like a fox there, and if I can see one, some sharks over there. There's a wide variety of creatures, ranging from small foxes like that, to huge bears, if I can find one. And there's a horse over there, you see. You can tame those horses, you can ride them. And there's a bear, nice. All the creatures are spawning near me. Yeah, bears, as you can hear, they make a tweeting sound, which is quite nice. I think it's good that Dr. Zog has integrated some quite clever sounds, and it actually sounds pretty realistic. And let's see if I can make the horse to neigh, and you just heard it there, it neighed. There are ducks as well as chickens. I will see if I can find a bear or a wolf or some form of hostile mob. Yeah, as I was saying about the taming of the animals, you can tame horses and dolphins. They can be used to get around quicker. Horses obviously go quicker on land. Dolphins obviously go quicker in water. Although there is a rare horse, which is a Pegasus, which allows you to... Whoa, there's some sort of huge kill fest going on up there. But as I was saying, the Pegasus allow you to fly. I will show you one of those shortly. As you see here, the dolphins are completely submerged in water. They are, I don't know how Dr. Zot did it, but he, re he made a code which allows mobs to spawn in water and move freely. And I'll see if the sharks can attack them, so it's near enough. There's quite a lot of them there, I don't want to get in the middle of them, but I'll just show you what a one-on-one -on -one encounter's like. Let's see if I can get to come over here. Mm, is he going to come over here? You can see me. Oh, he's coming towards me. And he's damaging me, yes. Best bet is to get out of the water before he kills me. See, they do quite a lot of health. Started off from 10, and he's taking me down to 2.5 with about 3 attacks. So, unless you've got a bow or a sword, I wouldn't recommend going in the ocean because he will murder you. And he's just killed me. <laughs> well done. Oh, and there's some lions there. They are also quite ferocious. They also attack you on sight. I will see if I can kill some of them. Preferably not three at once, but I'll see what I can do. And with a diamond sword, they go down in about three hits. And they are, and they just killed me quite quickly, actually. If they sneak up on you, there's pretty much no hope for you. You're pretty much dead. Mm. They seem to have quite far reach as well. Not sure. And a bird spawning that tree as if it kills like, oh shit, shit, no, oh, he's killed me again. Man, he's quite strong. I might have to get some armor. So now I'll just take him out. As you can see, these mobs are quite strong. They might be a bit strong for a beginner, but if you install this mob and you start a new world, you probably won't be able to take on a lion with your bare hands. And here we have some rabbits. Look at them. Quite cute looking. You can pick them up, put them on your head, as you see here. <laughs> I've got Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris char. And yeah, they just jump around on your head. I will see if I can spawn you a bear. And there we have a big ass grizzly and it's attacking me because it's got the squirrel on the head. Don't eat me, eat oh, it's dead. But yeah, you've seen the size of that bear, it just pretty much nerfs everything. I'll spawn a pig to show you. And it's just going to ravage that pig in two hits and it's dead. <laughs> They're pretty much the kings of the land, nobody messes with them. They might seem peaceful in the day, but come night time they won't murder you. 
I'll show you a horse. And I will also tame this one. If I can just kill that bear. Oh, the bear's gone down there. So in order to tame a horse, you have to get some apples, like so. I'll bin that. And I'll bin that. And then you need to make a horse saddle. I'm not 100% sure how you make them. But I just give a horse a apple. And just drop a saddle on. And let them ride it. There is a bug at the moment where if you look, if you move your head to the side when you're on a horse, the horse will glitch out and start spinning. So don't look that way, or well, it'll start glitching out. But if you look the direction that the horse is facing, you can ride them with ease. And now I will show you a really rare horse. I will show you the Pegasus if I can find one. Just spawn a couple of horses. See if I can get a Pegasus. Hope I do. And. Uh, quite a lot of horses, there's a unicorn, I'll see if I can tame that. Make sure it's tamed, then I give myself a saddle. And I will show you how quick this horse is, it's like a bullet. And it's doing that glitch where it spins around. Dr. Zart really needs to fix that, it's quite annoying. I was just about to fly that and it just decides to start spinning around in circles, which is quite annoying. But nevertheless, I will now show you the fish. I'll just simply, oh there's one there. Quite a nice, is that a piranha? Maybe. I'm not sure if they kill you, I'm not sure. But I'll just spawn quite a few more, I'll give myself some fish eggs. And I'll just chuck those down. And if we wait a little bit, they should all spawn. In the meantime, I will show you a, another hostile mob. I will spawn a new bit. And, oh, Dr. Zox changed the texture on that, I didn't realise. That's quite nice. I don't believe they attack you in the day. But if I hit him, he's going to try and mash me up into. Is he? Yep, he's gonna end up killing me. I'm gonna have to run. Can he go in the ocean? Um, I'm just gonna get a sword. Oh, I'm pretty much dead here. I shouldn't, really shouldn't have spawned him unless I fly. There we go. Whoa, why? Um, were they shark eggs? No, they, they aren't meant to spawn there. There's loads of fish. Hmm. Oh, it spawns sharks, not fish. That's quite annoying, that is. Let's go kill it. That noise is a wee bit annoying, but I'm not going to complain. Just, just chuck quite a few eggs down here. See what I can get. Chuck quite a few more down. I just want to show you the fishes, because it's quite an ingenious idea. They really are quite smart. And in the meantime, I'll just heal myself. Wait for them to hatch. And when you've placed them down, don't run over the, the eggs because you just pick them back up again. So just wait for them to hatch. And it appears to be an underground zombie. This thing. See if I can ride that dolphin. In order to ride a dolphin, you need to give them fish, which is here. And you do not need a saddle for these fish, you just feed them. Just feed them fish. Then I'm on the dolphin, and you. Mm, wow, it's quite quick. It was meant to be that quick. Turn off and fly. But yeah, that's how quick they are normally, so it's quicker than a boat. Yeah, they're a little fishy. See if the other ones are hatched. Yes, they have, that's quite good. Um, look at all the little fishes here. These. It's, it's a great mod, this is. Look at all the fishes. It really adds some some depth to the ocean, squids are a bit boring but with dolphins, sharks and little fish like this you can't really go wrong and you're killing your eggs what's that? oh it's, I thought there was someone attacking me, it's just drowning yeah these fish are quite a cool idea, I'm quite proud of Dr. Zart for adding something it isn't a huge mod but it's quite simple and it adds quite a bit of life to the ocean and I think that'll do it for this video and if you do happen to get a black screen, which might all be quite unfortunate, 
do just put in the comments, I got a black screen. It doesn't really help, and all it does is take up. Well, I'm not complaining because it's a comment, but do just put I got a black screen. I can't really help you if you can get the error code. If you don't know what that is, it's the code that pops up when it crashes. Then just give me that or explain what you installed and what you did. And if that doesn't work, just send me a private message saying you need really bad help. And I will attempt to walk you through it on Skype or whatever you want. Uh, see if there's any more helps I can spawn. Yeah, I'll show you the werewolf actually, they're quite, quite a cool mod. And as you can see, hasn't it spawned? Oh, there it is. As you can see, there's a person there. But come night time, he will turn into a werewolf. Which I'm not going to fly now. Looks like a normal person now, looks like he might help you. You know, talks to you occasionally, but come night time, you do not want to get on here. Wait for it. And there we have a werewolf. You can only kill them with a gold sword. So, I would not recommend going out at night time unless you've got a gold sword because you just get destroyed by them. And um, we can't see him at all. But yeah, there he is. Even now it looks proper light, it's still night time. And I'll just show you. See, I cannot damage him. I can't kill him. I just cannot kill him. Show with a gold sword. And he drops a golden apple, which is quite nice. Golden apples are really, really rare. They are very hard to find normally. In fact, I think you have to find an apple inside a dungeon and then put gold around it. Um, gold is rare enough by itself. And there we have a wolf. These aren't the wolves that Notch added. These are the wolves, evil wolves that will attack you no matter what. And here are some ogres, skeletons, a wraith even, wraiths of flying ghosts. Don't think they can reach me up here. They are not happy having a little war creepers versus so this. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I love this mod. I it's a shame when Doctor Zart doesn't update it, and I can't use it. But I'm not complaining because every when it is here, I make the most of it and I enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I really hope the mod works for you. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials on this. Subscribe and of course like the video if you liked it. You can dislike it if you want. I'm not gonna force you to like it. But yeah, I hope you have fun. See ya.